This is a tough fix on a slippery slope. We're gonna lift up this piece and try to set it again. Come on. We're building a new lift at one of the oldest ski areas in the USA. We have to fly on Monday, and I can't take it anymore. The job site, the side of a rugged mountain. A difficult place for heavy machinery. This is brutal. The flying steel doesn't get you. Mountain will. We've got to move and install tons of metal in a very short time. So we're calling in a little help from above, a custom flying crane. We're building a ski lift on the side of a mountain, flying tons of steel with a helicopter. Sound nuts? It is. We're in Wyoming, Cody, Wyoming, backyard of the famous Yellowstone National Park. This is Sleeping Giant Ski Area. It was a big part of Cody's winter economy. Now, about four years ago, the chairlift shut down and the mountain closed its doors for business. Now, after a couple years of intensive fundraising, the community have gotten together and they're ready to bring their mountain back to life. The people of Cody raised the cash to build their new ski lift, but the budget is tight. To save money, they're using the spare parts of retired lifts from around the country. So you're really building a Frankenstein lift here. For sure. Yeah. You got it. A cool it Frankenstein. A cool Frankenstein. Well, that's a given. The challenge is to take them apart and build a totally new ski lift with the recycled hardware. Basically, this is how it looks on paper. First, we have to rehab and rebuild 10 towers from piles of used parts. Then, using a specialized helicopter, we'll attempt to fly the pieces up the mountain. Next, run a mile of cable through the towers, attach the chairs, spark it up, and get this ski park moving again. My first impression, this looks like a scrapyard. We're about to find out just what I've gotten myself into. I'm here to meet the crew that are working to bring this mountain back to life. These guys are the cable cowboys of the ski lift industry. That thing should have been done 30 minutes ago, except everybody's chit chat. Kyle Clark is the hard-headed project manager. Now imagine doing this in the helicopter. We've got to do it in 10 seconds or less. Jeff Kelso is the calm right-hand man. They travel all over, building lifts in backwoods locations. Anything else I don't know about him? I'm going to take it back over. Yeah. I got to go work with him right now. Kyle, right? So, yeah. I'm Riley. How, How you doing, doing, Riley? I'm doing great, man. Nice, nice to meet you. We're gonna have to do that again. Kyle is cracking the whip. It's almost 5 o'clock. We got to hurry now. The painter's here. Come on! He knows they're under the gun. They got to get this lift up and running this winter. Otherwise, the community will have to wait another 12 months before it sees any profit. One, two, three. It all starts here. Jeff, help me make some sense out of this, because if I just walked on this pile of scrap, I really would think I'd walked into a junkyard. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, but you're telling me there's a ski lift somewhere out in all this steel. Yeah, come on. So you'll build it up out of all the used pieces. We'll take that wheel, we'll take that bracket. Yeah, exactly. Here we find that we're uh, engineering on the fly sometimes. Yeah. For instance, most of our stuff comes from that pile there. It's... What better organizational tool than the pile? <laughs> we keep a pile of tool over here, <laughs> exactly. and there's a pile of steel over there, and there's a pile of steel in the middle, and we put it all together and make a ski lift. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I get the idea. It's a Frankenstein ski lift. 